Hey guys, welcome to Question Mark Channel. So, it's April now, and we have pretty much seen all the major phone launches in the H1 of 2021, with OnePlus 9 being the last one of them. H2 will bring us the Note 21 series, new Xperia devices, Nokia's new phone series, the iPhone 13 lineup, and a new Google Pixel devices. And that, my friends, is today's topic. So, the Pixel 6 is one of the most anticipated smartphones for this year due to many reasons. Number one, because it's a Pixel device, of course. Number two is with the Pixel 5 last year, Google absolutely pulled every single pixel worth of data from the IMX363 camera sensor. And last year showed us that if the new Pixel doesn't launch with some optics improvements, Google's reputation as the go-to camera might very well buckle. The optics is certainly one thing that is making it really exciting. Although, there is one new rumor which brings a whole new speculation. The GS101. So, Historically, Pixel phones are never the best performers. The Pixel 5 didn't even use a flagship processor. Although it created a flagship experience, some fundamentals like image processing were significantly noticeable on the Snapdragon 765G. So what exactly is the GS101? New rumors suggest that the new generation Pixels will be using in-house SOCs. Yes, you heard it right my friends, Google might cut off the role of Qualcomm Snapdragon in the Google Pixel phones. The GS101, codenamed White Chapel, is the rumored processor for a new Pixel, being co-developed with Samsung. And on a side note guys, this video is specifically devoted for the SOC. We'll do an honest thoughts video when the details of the phone gets clearer. The processor will use a similar architecture as Samsung's own Exynos 2100 with some modifications. These modifications might include camera algorithms for videos like on Apple's iPhones and also probably the Pixel Neural Code a chip dedicated specifically for camera processing. And this means that the Pixel 6 might be the most powerful Pixel, potentially also one of the most powerful phones of 2021. Not to mention the development of GS aka Google Silicon opens up a new possibility of Google made desktop processors like the Apple M1 for future Chromebooks. You might recall our video, Google and the Future of Software, where we brought up these points with the Fitbit acquisition, the monumental success of Chrome OS in 2020 and now Google Silicon I can say for a fact that Google is moving towards its own complete ecosystem. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do consider subscribing for more interesting content like this. Thank you.